Hey, happy Wednesday. We are here with Transition Pittsburgh people and we are here in McKee's Rocks at Kate's house and uh, we're helping her out with her permaculture garden and uh, we're making room for a big shed here but uh, she's going to give us a little tour of her backyard. They got some some permaculture landscape developing here um, and some beautiful flowers. Hello Kate. Hi. Welcome to my home. Thank you. Welcome to my garden venture. Thank you very and, much. Uh, and I want to thank everybody for showing up today. This is a great work detail and I'm putting up a shed and I'd like to give you a tour of what's been done so far and what the vision is. This is the vision for this urban farm in the Keys Rocks Bottoms on Ellis Street. Yeah. So here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go and have the tour. Awesome. First of all, as much as I can, I like to let the wild violets and the dandelions have their way. And they have their own little spots everywhere and I'm mindful of all that. I want to have them all come uh -huh. back every year. Oh, oh, they're in that in that basket over up, right up there on that shelving unit. There should be gloves in there. And you might want to give some to Brittany. Yeah. It, it, look down in that yeah. basket. Yeah. So there are gloves in Getting there. Getting gloves for the work party here. Yeah. And then there's there's that white. They're they're rolled up right behind your hand there. There we go. And do. there's more in there if you dig down a little bit. There's more in there. They're there's moving of compost over there. We. Some people like to touch smelly compost, but not everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I like to touch smelly compost. I was touching it this morning. Well, under all of that straw, okay. Jeff Newman laid all this compost, and that's supposed to degrade into the soil. Wonderful. And on top of that, all that straw is going to go leaf mulch. Uh-huh. And then on top of the leaf mulch is going to go wood chips. Ah, so it's like lasagna layering all that's the right. different things. Only it's going to wait till for a year. Wow. Till it totally biodegrades, and, and Jeff says that that'll make the soil really proteinous. Cool. And so, and all of where those people are standing, and all of that back from the pond, mm -hmm. is is going to uh, be. It's not going. All of the grass is going to be gone. It's all going to be mulched with a little pathway to the shed which is going in that corner where they're getting rid of the compost. Cool. There. And uh, so there will only be like a little postage stamp of actual lawn here. Uh -huh. Everything else will be orchard, wow. a parking pad over on the side far left, uh -huh. and then a walkway that will meander through all this and come to the house. Nice. So kind of like a I think they call them keyhole gardens yes. to, to most utilize the space for That's food right. growing. That's right. Keyhole gardens. Um, these beds I built myself and I filled them with soil from um, AgriCycle. Nice. And that was before I was in contact with Jeff. Uh huh. And uh, so they produce every year. You know, I plant just carrots and beets and you know the regular fare. Mm -hmm. I want to branch out into many more things as, yeah. as, it, as it grows. Um, and this circle here, now that's a pear tree right in front wow. of me. That pear tree was here and a significant reason why, one of the significant reasons I decided to purchase this property. And uh -huh. um, so that tree has been here for about 25 years. So you and it are a perfect pair? We are a perfect <laughs> it's very wonderful. And beside that is a fire bush. And what uh, Jeff has said that we're going to build a symbiotic relationship with the herbs that uh, have been planted under the tree. So mm -hmm. that circle is going to be an herb garden. Nice. You know, so some of it has started already, and we're trying to get rid of the grass to keep everything else producing. So there's a lot of clover and of course dandelions but uh -huh. there is sage there is thyme there is echinacea wow um there was um yarrow uh, all of this and all of this is coming up beautifully and of course my beautiful violets <laughs> that's fantastic yeah. and uh so that entire circle there will be a, a, it's a, a little ecosystem 
Uh huh. For 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 that purpose. Wonderful. And if we want to walk down the walk here, I'll take you down to the pine tree, and we can just come around. Is that okay? Yeah. Should we okay. check out this this vision for this art project here? Oh yeah. This is my this is my door fence. Uh huh. And I'm going to get a few more doors. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, what I want to do is, I bought sidewalk chalk. I had a ceremony here. I brought some sidewalk chalk, cool. actually. Maybe we could decorate one. Right. And that's why, I, and I figure, you know, I'll wash them down. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're painted with um, waterproof paint. Uh huh. So, and I can wash them down and then, you know, we can continue to create when I have a function or when people come by or whatever. That's beautiful. Yeah. And so there's going to be a few more doors along that part of the fence. And then eventually it's going to be a fence of its uh -huh. own. But, uh, and that'll help keep the wind from, from hurting some of the plants maybe? That and, you know, I just thought it was kind of a it's fun just thing. just beautiful. <laughs> I, I mean, it's a multi. Yeah. In permaculture, most things have multi-purposes. Right. And yeah. so it's beautiful and inspiring but right. also has practical mm -hmm. kind of thing and it's an art project yeah it's like you know to have fun and absolutely transition pittsburgh is all about having fun oh well, yeah we have, have so little of that it's always good to <laughs> well, put things in your environment that make you smile right totally now these tulips here are just my pride and joy uh -huh. they I planted before I, I moved in here, in the mm -hmm. fall before I moved in. I didn't move in until January. I planted mm -hmm. them in late September. Mm -hmm. And the reason, well, I planted them because I wanted to, but mm -hmm. that spring, because everything was going wrong with this house. It's an old house built in 1928, so I don't need to say anymore. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of work. Uh -huh. But in the spring, when they started coming up, they brought me such joy. It was like these little things poked through. Yeah. And it was just like a little puppy or something. I mean, they were just so sweet. <laughs> so every day, I watched every stage. Wow. Last, the spring before last, actually, mm -hmm. of them blooming. I mm -hmm. just came running out to see where they were at that, that day. And yeah, see, these are just back. radiating beauty. Hello, friends. I'm just going to pause it right here.